Hey, hey everybody, our community Jeff here again, and I'm going to tackle some more of the uh, my collection. We're back still in KISS. Uh, and today we're going to deal with videos, or in this case, mostly DVDs. Uh, I do have a box of probably 30 or 40 VHS tapes loaded with KISS footage. I got them from somebody over the years, years ago, decades ago. All kinds of bootleggy type stuff. Now I'm not pulling those out because they're just handwritten labels. There's nothing really to see. Just a bunch of tapes that I made or somebody made for me. And it's just got all kinds of rough and raw footage. And a lot of that stuff has made it to YouTube these days. I should probably pull out my tapes and see if any of it is really worth and it's probably copies of a copy of a copies you know it was it's cool to have but it's not super high quality and like I say a lot of that stuff has been put out with a little higher depth probably by then but anyway I haven't I, I have that box I know exactly what it is I saw it the other day but I'm not gonna pull that out these are really just the first batch are legitimate store-bought typical stuff I think I've got the majority of things from at least back in the day i'm not sure if anything new is really have, have they really released much recently um i do know the one thing i'm missing well the kiss in vegas which actually was in the cd set had the dvds in there so that would have been one of the more recent things i think i believe i have gotten from them um anyway so some of the stuff, this is all going back to the DVD era. The first batch is going to be store-bought type stuff. The second batch is going to be more of fancy-looking bootlegs that people have made. These are not in any particular order. I just grabbed them off the shelf and brought them in here real quick. Kiss Confidential and Extreme Close-Up, the double feature DVD set of those older put-together shows. Um, you know, it's just this is just stuff that they've released over the years. You can look, Kiss Confidential was a separate thing, and Extreme Close-Up was a separate VHS recording back in the day, and then they put them together on this DVD. I wonder if any of this stuff, I haven't even looked at video type quality. We rely so much on YouTube. This is all pre-YouTube type stuff. But, you know, I wonder if these things, have these things, did they ever put Blu-rays of these, or, you know, release them in 4K, or I wonder if they've ever upgraded that kind of stuff. Um... The Eric Carr story. Uh, I don't know. The official Eric Carr. I guess. I mean, this is official release, but I can't recall, you know, where this came from. Who released this? Is it really, you know, anyway. It's Kiss related. It's in my Kiss collection there. Kiss Rock the Nation Live. So this would have been, what year? I don't know what this year was. Not too terribly long after the reunion started. A couple years later. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I saw this tour, if I'm not mistaken. So this would have been early 2000s. But it's a pretty high quality show. You know, all their shows are going to be very similar as far as high quality stuff. Two discs, lots of music. Lots and lots of music. Lots of classics. So I saw this includes bonus features. Seven performance songs. Anyway, lots and lots of stuff. These are just, I'm not going to ramble too much about these. Kiss Symphony. The DVD series section series. Um, this is a pretty extensive show. You got the regular Kiss stuff, and then you got the whole sections with the symphonies and stuff. It's pretty nicely put together package there. Kiss live in Vegas. To me, this felt. I mean, like I remember ordering this online and thought it was a big deal, but it, it, it I think this is really a cheesy. Uh, I doubt. The, yeah, the unse unseen concert. For some reason, I'm thinking this is not even an official release, and that Kiss later got pulled this or something it seems like there was some controversy about this when it came out and i know when i watched it it just seemed like i'm like ah that's not an that's something's not up to par with that all right the rest of these are the uh, the kissologies so volume one volume two volume three to me, these are some of the greatest releases because these have just pretty much some of the highest quality of everything from the Kiss Vault that you can get. And there's a lot of obscure stuff on here. And there's a lot of stuff that's, you know, been, some of it's been seen in the past. But I thought this was a great archive of just, I mean, especially 
you know, volume one. It's just got so much of the early footage. So when these sets came out, these were, in my opinion, just some of the greatest things. Just finally, a lot of the stuff that we've seen on such VHS bootlegs as I've got, a lot of them were given to us in probably the highest quality form that they could get transferred from this old material. And these things are loaded, multi-discs. I don't have, the ones I, I mean, there. I hated the fact that, you know, you buy it, Best Buy, you get this bonus disc, you buy it at this place, you get this bonus disc, at Walmart, this disc. I don't know, I didn't go through that whole thing of collecting all of the different versions, so I'd have to open these up and really see which version I've got. I mean, each one comes with a bonus disc, and depending on what store you got it at. I mean, people were selling those bonus discs online back in the day for crazy money to try to have the ability for people to get all the ones that were available. So I never got into it that much. The, and the, the bonus discs that came with those, at least the ones I got, they were they were probably the, the worst footage of the box set. They didn't even make it to the box set. They were just pretty rough. So anyway, all right. So those are the official ones. I don't. I know Second Coming. I I have a copy of that on the DVR. I don't recall exactly what happened to my official copy. I'm thinking at some point I loaned it to somebody or I sold it to somebody and never did rebuy it. I do have a copy of it on DVR. Nowadays, all of that stuff again is probably online. I have never went back and bought that. So I know I'm missing that and I'm not sure what else I'm missing of that stuff. Um, I'm sure over the years I've sold some stuff and you know, and then Kissology came back and replaced it. All right, the rest of these are all things that I bought online. At some point, there's, there was a website out there. Again, this would have all been before Facebook. It would have been, I'm not sure where the website is nowadays, but these are what I would consider some of the higher quality transfers of a lot of that bootleggy type stuff that I had before. They're not in any particular order, I do not believe. Um, but the Kiss Vision, I guess, is a label that was used and it's pretty high quality inserts i mean yeah it's just photocopies the dvrs are just you know I, I hand wrote the name on there just dvrs but the quality tend to be pretty good so this is kiss vision this is live in long beach 1974 so we're talking early footage here and again some of these may have actually been on kissology uh, i've never actually compared them to see um live in san francisco the winter the winterland 1975 so when I got these, it was great to see semi-high quality. This is actually a little more official than those other bootlegs. Um, 1976, The Lost Concert. That does not, yeah, that's an official. That should probably be in my official things. I think I have them in order just because of the concert era in 1976. So that's something that somebody, probably still not official release, but it was something that was a little more better release. The Elder Media Collection. So this was really cool because there really was not much footage released for Elder. This has got the, uh, was it, that show they were on Fridays or something? It's got all the clips, yeah, Fridays. Pretty much everything they could pull from that era. Fridays, Solid Gold, San Remo Festival, Entertainment Tonight, America's Top 40, Cerebral Palsy Benefit, Telethon, hmm. Flo and Eddie. Eyewitness News with Storm Field. Is that Stormy Field? Anyway, Entertainment Tonight. Where are they now? Video, promo video for I and the Phenomenal Elder Still Gallery. So it's just got a bunch of stuff that they could pull together from the, uh, from the Elder era, which I thought was really cool. Again, these are not in any order, I guess. Night 2 of 1977. So this would have been around the, you know, the Alive 2 album era. And there is that concert. It was on HBO back in, I remember as a kid, of the uh, 1977 show. This is a concert footage of Night 2. So. And then we're getting into Largo, 1979. So this would have been... The uh, Dynasty era, and this is, uh, yeah, this is Largo, Maryland, July 8th. I saw them, I think, two days before this, July 6th in Virginia. And then the next day they went to this, and this is the one that gets released. I've seen this one 
online a lot, but I saw them two days before that show, two days before, two days after. I'm thinking it was the 6th. It was two days before. Then they went to Maryland, which is a couple hours up above us. Sydney, Australia, 1980. This is, I had this, I showed a bootleg of this uh, in my CDs. Again, this concert, the Unmasked Error concert, is one of the only ones that they seem to be floating around out there. Um, Animalized. I don't think Animalized, it seems like when this was released, Animalized was never released on DVD. It was one of those VHS releases, which is why I don't have it. I don't know, has it been officially released, but this is a semi-copied it high quality to a DVD. That's one of the ones that, you know, there's some VHS era stuff that I guess Kiss never reissued. Kiss Alive 3 concert. And most of these concerts are fairly high quality. They're not necessarily just audience shot. Some of them may be, but some of them may be of other. This is what I was thinking about the Halloween collection that's got the Paul Lynn and all that stuff on here. Um, Mad TV, concert special, just yeah. TV spots and more. Anyway, the 98 media collection. It's got, oh, 98. Maybe that's not the one I was thinking of. Anyway, Halloween stuff collecting there. And then we got the Last Kiss, which has been around the Millennial Concert. Looks like according to the cover there. It's got Peter and Ace on there. So, And then the Rock the Nation Tour 2004, which is similar to that other one. 2004, I'm pretty sure that is the tour that I saw. Because I moved back to Virginia in 2002, and I think I saw them in 2004, and 8, and 12, and I know 19, and somewhere in between. So yeah, just a decent quality footage of that so there you go that is all and then i got you know various vhs tapes like i found this on the ace for this is a copy a bootleggy type copy of live plus four ace fairly there's ace fairly and stuff like that floating around but that's it for the official kiss stuff i need to look back because i feel like that is shy of some things i'm missing some things but anyway that's it for this one and i'll see you later rock on and rock hard